Good day gentle people, it's your favorite Mr. Foyer 2. Welcome back to my channel. The video today is gonna be a little bit different than usual. Instead of fighting stupidity, we're gonna see if there is hope for your future generations. Spoiler alert, not always lost. What's the point of faking the shape of the earth? Flat earthers say that it's because the government is evil, but that would make no sense at all, because there are much worse things that you can do rather than fake the shape of the earth. Next, they say is to have control over you. This would probably be one of the dumbest ways they could have control over you. It would just be a much smarter idea to spend it on something else, like the military. After that, they say it's for money. But uh, how would they actually make money if they fake the shape of the earth? Like, how? They would actually be losing money if they paid people to fake the universe, paid people to lie about the shape of the earth, and uh, paid like thousands of things. Next, the uh, flat earthers say that the government is faking the shape of the earth just because they want to. Okay, do you really think that people would spend trillions of dollars just because they want to? Finally, uh, a lot of flat earthers believe that faking the shape of the earth isn't hard. Well, uh, if you want to fake the shape of the earth, you would first have to fake the entire universe. Then uh, you would have to pay thousands of people to shut up about it. After that, uh, you would have to fake the moon, the sun, waves, and we're just getting started here. There's literally no good reason why someone has spent trillions of dollars into faking the shape of the earth. And before you try and argue something stupid in the comment section, give me a reasonable explanation to why someone would fake the shape of the earth. After that day, you can argue. But anyways, uh, I'm out. If, if flat earthers think the earth is flat, then how in the world would, would other planets go through phases, such as Venus, as what Galileo proved in the 1600s and people still think that the think that the earth is flat when it's been proven a very long time ago and i don't understand that so if you're a flat earther then comment on one of my videos saying like how or why that makes any sense I've always wondered, is the Earth flat? So where'd you go, Earth? I was just at my friend Neptune's house. Well, that doesn't mean you should go wandering throughout the solar system. Rat moon. What'd you say, son? I said, maybe Earth shouldn't go wandering around the solar system. Right, Moon? Yeah, whatever. Ow! Oh, I got another crater in my sock. Oh, don't worry, Moon. I'll stitch that up for you. I think I've got a needle and a thread somewhere in here. Oh, it's just a human. No, we ain't gonna stitch up Moon's craters. Now what are we- Attention, attention! All planets, look up! Look up! Sun, Earth, Moon. The announcement lady who always announces something when we have a question to solve. Yes, Moon. Now listen. I've always wondered, is the Earth flat? What do you mean, am I fat? She said flat, not fat Earth. But why would anyone ask that? Of course I'm not flat. Maybe those tiny things you call humans said that. But I don't think that's true, because I have a theory. If we zoom into Earth real close, she appears straighter. And the humans are sm so small, and Earth is so big, that they can't see how round the Earth actually is just by standing on it. Exactly, Moon. But I have a shorter explanation. Every picture taken by NASA of Earth with those little aircrafty things sent up to our homes, they all show Earth round. 
So, yeah. And if I was flat, then people would fall off me a million times. And they would fall into deep, dark, blackness. I think that's enough evidence for one day. Now I can go back to around the world, around the world. And I can go back to shining on Africa. And I can go back to Neptune's house. No! no. Okay. Guess I'll start orbiting. Did you know that the Earth is flat? No, it's not. Yes, it is. Do you actually believe that we are on an orange which is running at 66 miles per hour? <laughs> Have you seen the clouds when you are flying on an airplane? Yes. Why? We are artificial and made so you cannot see the flat Earth. These clouds were created by Bo Mama in 1902. 1902 was also the same year in which aeroplanes were invented. You may think it's a coincidence, but no. They were made so nobody can see the flat earth from a plane. Obama wasn't even there in 1902. No, 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 I'm not talking about Obama. I'm talking about Bo Mama, president of Tonga. But what about photographs taken from space? Bo Mama knows very good Photoshop. He photoshopped all that. You have a good point, but I'm still not 100% sure. Why haven't we ever reached the edge of the earth? We have. Have you ever seen dead ends? They were made on all edges of the world by, um, Gobama, Gobama, yes. Uh, president of Papua New Guinea. Okay, I'm convinced. Start this flat. And that's it for today. These kids are smarter than flurfs. For obvious reasons, I will not link to them, but I will link my Discord server, Twitter feeds, and support pages as usual. This has been Mr. 42, out. Don't panic. <laughs>